Do you have a PC that is on the opposite side of the house to your router? Do you have to rely on a spotty Wi-Fi connection to be able to stream or play your favorite multiplayer game? Well, of course you do. But the problem is you would have to run about a thousand feet of Ethernet cable through the walls, cutting open your drywall and making a huge mess everywhere with tons of dust spewing out. Plus the cost of re-drywalling and repainting everything, just to have some ethernet. Well, what if I told you your hopes were not that far away? That you could get that for just $20? Well, your house already has the cables laid out to run your blazing fast ethernet. So, let me show you how you can do that. The answer is Powerline. So as you can see, we have the TP-Link AV2000 model here. It's about 40 bucks off of Amazon, and they are really reliable. As you can see, you have two Ethernet ports down here. This one, you can plug either one where your router is. It simply plugs into the wall, your outlet, and then you would plug this port. It doesn't matter which port. We bring one Ethernet output from your router into this. Then you plug it in, you connect this by pressing these buttons on here, right here, and here. So once you press that, they pair. And then after that, um, they're paired. And then you can just route an ethernet port from here out to a computer or here out to a computer. You can use both of them if you want, it doesn't matter. And then on the top one too, you can use this one for a pass through as well if you want to run another device off of the ethernet. And it really doesn't spoil any speeds. I haven't noticed anything unless you're doing like some high render thing with lots of bandwidth that you need to upload something or anything really. They do actually include a nice um, wall outlet as well that converts the power to here because really this isn't using that many watts. It really is not using that, many that much power at all because it's simply using its own power that's carried and then maybe amplifying it a bit into the wall and out. So that's why you can pass it through this outlet here to get the power back because this is taking up two sockets. No matter if you put it on the bottom or the top, this little bezel up here is gonna take up the space. So you can't use it up there, which is a bummer, but I mean, hey, you get one socket back, so that's fine. Especially considering that you're getting ethernet downstairs if your uh, router is upstairs. So really, that's a really amazing thing. And one thing that you don't wanna do is plug it into surge protectors. And I'll explain that in a bit later, but, um, Basically, uh, again, all you do is plug it in. It's plug and play, that simple. No wires, besides just the Ethernet to connect to the computer and stuff. No special anything. Just plug and play. As long as you have um, uh, plugs in your house, which I assume anyone that's living today has uh, electrical plugs in their house, they could do that. So um, the only thing that I would want you guys, in case you don't want to spend the 40 bucks, but you want to look it up into, is I would recommend you guys going to check out your electrical layout, because you could have a two circuit layout, meaning that you have two junction boxes outside of your house. So that means that if you were to plug one in into one junction box, say it's on that junction box circuit, and plug this one into another junction box circuit, it's not gonna work because the circuits aren't physically connected, you know? So it wouldn't work. But that's a really rare occasion. It's only like if you're living in apartments and places, uh, but generally you only have one junction box. So that's probably only gonna affect maybe on a one out of a thousand people in a ratio. So uh, let me get into and showing you how to set this up. Alrighty, so we are upstairs with our router. So simply all you do is plug the ethernet into the router, okay? So we have our ethernet from the router, okay? We got our power line here, all we do. And yes, I know we have this other power line is powering my uh, AV system because <laughs> I wanted to be able to stream and it doesn't have Wi-Fi functionality and I didn't want to spend 80 bucks for a Wi-Fi adapter by Pioneer, so I just bought this. It's a cheaper one, it's only a 60 megabyte it really does just fine. But I'm saying that also, getting a little bit off topic here, also you can plug this in and still use the same socket and you can still get different power line from the same socket. So meaning that I'm running two different bands. So one from here and one from here and they won't affect each other. As long as you don't have, you, you could in theory actually run 
just one of these and branch it off. Say you wanted to add, if they actually sell connection kits where it just comes with one of these, meaning that you could expand it. I believe you can expand them to like five different outputs, but really I just have this laying around from my old thing and I just decided to use it rather than spend 20 bucks on getting a new, another one of these to extend it. Anyways, I don't need the super fast thing on an AV system just meant for streaming music and Pandora and um, internet radio. It's nothing special. But back to what we had here. You see, we just plug it in. It's a little bit tight. There we are. Okay. So boom, as you can see here, we have our flashing, means that we're on, okay. So now all we do is we plug it under here, our ethernet, okay. Boom, all right, as you can see, this stands for our LAN, we are connected. Now, this means that we're joined. So meaning that we've joined another one of these boxes, power line adapters, to the other one downstairs. So I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna connect it up from there. All right, so here we are downstairs. Forgive me for this white bit right here in a different color. I just had, we had to uh, re-plaster it here and re-drywall it because there was a, a thing in the um, plumbing, so we had to fix that, but it all just needs to be repainted. But anyways, back to our subject. Here we have our power line, okay? Simply plug it in. Yeah. I can see the plug, it's difficult to see it through the camera. There we go, all right. So now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says on the side here that we are online and connected. We didn't even need to do the pair button. Now, it's different because I have paired these before. They're not brand new, I paired them before. Um, so they already pair automatically because they know each other. They set up a connection before and unplugging them just stores it in their memory banks. You can reset them by just pressing and holding this for five seconds, the pair button right down here. Um, so simply we're connected. Now all we need to do is plug it in into a computer. So I have two plugs, one, two. So let me just, Tilt this down a little bit. There we are. So, this one leads to my main computer. I'll just plug that in there. Plugs in like a snap. And then here's my Mac Mini. You might have seen that in my latest video. Go check it out. I'll have a link coming up soon if you see it. It's a good video. So, this leads to my Mac Mini. Again, I was talking about you can have dual Ethernet plugs, which is really nice because now I have Ethernet to both computers. 60 megabits per second. So just plug that in there as well. Sometimes it's difficult to, there we are, and boom. And we are connected. As you can see here, we have Ethernet Network 2 connected. So that is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, it's a great thing. I'm really happy about it. You guys should definitely go check it out. Even if you don't want to spend the $40 uh, for the high-end system one, you can at least spend the $20 on the um, 60 megabyte per second um, power line. Sorry, my mind's drawing a blank here. But, um, oops, escape. So you could really at least do that and try it out, see if it works. One thing that I do have to warn you is not, please do not plug it into a surge protector. When you plug it into a surge protector, the surge protector filters out a lot of that excess signal, the excess frequency, because electricity travels at a certain frequency, hertz you could call it, or kilohertz or whatever. Um, and if you're trying to pump that through the surge protector, the surge protector could trip, or it could simply just filter it out, not trip, but when you plug it in, you're power line may say not connected, you can't get it connected because it's not receiving a signal, it can't connect. But, or you could end up having really bad service. Say, for example, if you have a 60 megabytes per second data plan and you're only getting about 15 megabytes per second. The reason why is because about 75% of your frequency or data is getting filtered out by that surge protector because it thinks that it's... Um, extra excess frequency, excess electricity. So that's the reason why it just interferes with the signal. So please don't plug it into a surge protector, plug it into your bare outlet, nothing plugged in. Don't even plug it into things such as just a plain splitter that splits it maybe into like 
from one plug to like three plugs. It just confuses it up and it will um, noticeably downgrade your performance that you're getting from your Wi-Fi. So I hope you just, this helped you out, guys. Go check it out on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And um, go check it out. Get yourself some Ethernet while you're at home because, you know, get that streaming, get that gaming in, get that new YouTube binge watching in, whatever you want to do. <laughs> get that high-speed data. So I'll see you all later. Like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed this. And stay safe. Goodbye.